Imagine having product after product on Amazon selling steadily at great profits without competitors swooping in to crash the pricing. On today's show, Jim invited one of the best Jim Cockrum Coaching.com coaches to the studio to teach us all how to use simple Amazon searches to uncover countless hidden gold mines of opportunity. Armed with the knowledge you're about to receive, the sky is the limit. Take it away, Jim. Hey, this is Jim. Welcome back to Silent Sales Machine Radio. So glad you've joined us today. I have with us one of our coaches from the Jim Cockrum Coaching Program today, Miss Teresa Rose. How are you, Teresa? I'm great. Thanks so much for allowing me to be here. This is a great honor and it's just a lot of fun to be a part of. Oh, well, you're just one of those fantastic people that every time I hang out with one of our coaches, it's so cool. It's like people might be under the impression that I'm around here teaching you guys. No, that's not how it works. I am learning. Our coaches are incredible. And you've been doing some really creative things with wholesale sourcing. You're one of our top, if not our top coach in that arena. You've created some great content for the Proven Amazon course in that arena. You've coached a lot of our students and you were filling me in in our pre-show chat about some of the really cool things that are happening for some of your students in your own business. We're going to dive into those stories. For the listener today, this is more info. You told us you wanted more on the topic of wholesale sourcing. And Brett and I did a great call a while back for the listener. If you go back to silentgym.com and you look, I'll put it right in the show notes for this episode. A great call that Brett and I had. We talked about wholesale because I don't know anyone who's bought more wholesale than Brett, Teresa. But there's some real specific challenges that some of our students are running into. And we just want to plow through some of that today. So you ready to go? I'm ready. Awesome. Well, let's start with this. I don't like to spend a lot of time on introductions and stuff that, you know, I like to get straight to the meat. But still, you've never been on the show before. So just tell us a little bit about your background, who you are, where your business is, whatever you're comfortable sharing with us. And then we'll dive in and uh, talk about some wholesale sourcing today. Right. So my background is that I've been a teacher for many years and I've taught in all kinds of situations, classroom situations, public and private. And now I mostly do, you know, part time private teaching as a music teacher. And what I'm doing is basically coaching there and have been for years of trying to help them become successful and in learning something. So this is just as something that just naturally adds to that. And with that, always developing some ideas of how can we get that success to happen a little bit sooner? How can we get there? Where do we need to put the focus? And that's something that I've been doing for a long time of helping people to find that. I love it. You know, we have a saying around here in our team, our leadership team, and you just kind of hit on it, but we don't help people here. That's not what we do. We help people succeed, which means there's an accountability. There's a system. There's going to be some tough questions. We don't just help you. We're going to help you succeed. So it's a long-term relationship we're talking about. And you just hit the nail on the head. You've been doing it for a long time. You're a teacher at heart. Every time you get on the phone, you're teaching me new things and we could just talk for hours, but we're going to focus in right now on wholesale sourcing. So, you know, one of the questions we get a lot, Teresa, is help me find a supplier and especially one where I'm not going to have competitors pounding me, you know, pounding down the price within the first couple of months. Like, how do you find those sources of sustainably profitable products through wholesale? And I will give this caveat for the listeners who haven't listened to the episode where Brett and I talked about wholesale, get in the show notes, go listen to that show. It's part of your homework. But assuming the listener's done that, Teresa, how do you answer that question? Well, it's very easy to do. One of the biggest problems that for people getting into wholesale, and it's also a myth, is that they think that Amazon sells everything. And if Amazon (laughs) isn't selling everything, it's going to be one of your competitors that probably has deeper pockets and can be, be able to purchase at a much lower price than you can. So there's ways that you can find those suppliers with very low competition, meaning there's no Amazon and there's little to no other FBA sellers. And this is uh, the stuff that we do in our coaching sessions all the time as I show them how to find that. It's also in a series of videos on the PAC course now. By leveraging everything that Amazon gives us as information, they give us filters to use on the left-hand side to search for things. We're able, I'm able to do it. It takes me probably two minutes to find a supplier where there is zero Amazon and little to no FBA sellers. And you can do that by starting right directly on Amazon, knowing that you have the product already in the catalog. 
You don't have to go through the work of creating a brand new listing page. It's there. And all you need to do is then track it down to that supplier and contact them. So once you go through eliminating out some things through using filters, getting that price up high so that you know you have plenty of margin there in your profit, then all you really basically need to do is take that brand, that manufacturer and Google it get to their page and contact them directly. Yeah, it's not rocket science, but at the same time, if you don't know what you're doing, you know, here's one of the big mistakes I think a lot of people make with wholesale, and you've shared this with me too, is they think success with wholesale is getting, contacting a bunch of wholesalers and then pouring through thousands of lines of possible products looking for one. And that can just be so tedious. And if you don't know what you're doing, even once you think you found a good one, you probably haven't, right? But we take a different approach. Approach, don't we? It's more systematic. It's a lot faster to the heart of the matter. And I love those videos that you recently added to the Proven Amazon course. We're getting incredible feedback. That was just a freebie. We just threw it in. And thank you so much for making those. It's a series of, what was there, 10 videos that steps you through the process you just described. So if the listener doesn't have the Proven Amazon course yet, yet need it. And if you want a coach who understands wholesale, hanging out with Teresa would be awesome. But this isn't a pitch for our course and for our coaching. We want to provide a ton of value, even for those of you who don't give us a dime because we love creating successful entrepreneurs. So dive a little deeper into that process for me, if you would. Let's just pretend, and I know we can't go, you know, there's a reason we made these videos because we kind of got to show you what's happening, but just go a little deeper into that process. Assume I don't really know anything. Explain that process that you just explained one more time and maybe just use a little more specifics. Like, okay, so I'm on Amazon, I'm researching for a wholesale opportunity. Take me through it pretending I don't know anything. Right, so a lot of what I do is I start in a main category first. That's the easiest way to kind of do some reverse sourcing straight off of Amazon is to use a main category as your starting point, preferably one that you can sell in currently. Make sure you're approved, right, right. Yes, yes, make sure you're approved. Then you need to go down through the subcategories. I like to go down as deep into the subcategories as I possibly can. You can always change your direction later whenever you want to, but go down as deep as you can. Along the way, keep your mind open and keep your eyes open to something that you would not have thought of yourself. If it's something that you look at and say, well, I don't know what that is, that's a clue that you need to choose it (laughs) and you need to look into it further because if it's not coming readily to mind to you, it is not for anyone else either. Oh, I love it. You know what? And just a little side tip, that sounds so much like the advice we give to people when they're sourcing books, right? One of the best advices we say when you're outsourcing books, and I'm not trying to derail you here, but we say, if you look at the title and you think, yeah, everyone knows that author. Yeah, everyone's interested in that topic. That's probably not a good book because everyone already has it. But if you look at it and you think, who in the world would ever buy that? Now you got something worth looking into, right? Because this is like, it's only a handful of people and it's a hard to find product. I love it. Mm -hmm. So, all right, keep going. I'll let you keep going. Yeah, so weird, unusual, hard to find. It does very, very well. And that's where there is demand. And what you're going to do is look for the ones that have low competition. So if you're continuing to go down through your subcategories, once you arrive at your final destination, you can't go any further into the subcategories. You're going to start putting on some filters on the left-hand side. So if you see the filter always down at the bottom on the left that says underneath available, it will say include out of stock. I always check mark that. Mm. And here's why. That's good. If Amazon does not have anyone selling that product for a period of several months, then that page will get suppressed into the catalog. Even if you type in some keywords in the catalog that you think would apply to get that product to pop up, because it's been without any sales for such a long period of time, it will not pop up by just keywords alone. So that will force that page to come up so that you can look at it and be able to see this is a product that no one has sold for a long period of time. I love it. That tip alone right there is worth the price of admission today, listener. That's good stuff. So you 